Hey guys, Madison Star Moon. And as you can see, they are shredding us with their airplane pollution, chemtrail madness. And it's funny that they're just doing it right by the sun. Are they chemtrailing where you are? Yes. Well, obviously, because I'm I'm where you are almost. Yes, it is. Um, we got trail mix. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, don't you think it's disgusting? I mean, you're my friend. Tell everybody what you think about what's going on in our sky right now. I just basically worry about how much my main concern is not getting enough UV rays that are going to keep me from having the winter blues. Yeah. You know, I check the UV in index um, from time to time, and I notice that it's a little bit lower than it used to be. Oh, God, girl. I don't know what we're going to do. This is just a hideous disgrace. Why would to defend this and why would someone because they think they're going to be dead before it affects them and maybe they just don't care about the future of others kids plants animals why how i don't know remember the one cop i don't know if you saw the video did you see the video where i approached the cop and tried to get her to take a report no but most of the time they do entertain um ideas about stuff like that i mean I've never personally confronted, but I mean, I've, I've, uh, the only people I've ever really confronted that are official is a pilot that I met in a bar. And, um, his comment on it was, it's not going to affect me because I won't be around by the time it has an effect. So that's how I think that most people feel about it. If they know. That's so creepy. It is. I mean, I'm beyond creeped out at this point. I mean, you it's know, like some Luciferian shit. Yeah, and it really is, dude. It is, and it's scary. Yeah, we live in a very Luciferian community over here. Yeah, the Commonwealth of Freemasons, which I and made the them all hate of, you. Don't piss off the wrong person. <laughs> oh, I always piss off the wrong person. In fact, I think that's kind of my shtick. Is what <laughs> what is the most dangerous person that I should not fuck with? Let me go ahead and call them and blast them out and put them on YouTube. Oh, God, there's nothing more dangerous than a humiliated government official. <laughs> you know, I'm already getting threats from family members of the uh, Roundup sprayers that I talked to the other day. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I don't see how stupid people can be with that. I yeah. mean, they literally have, like, commercials about suing Roundup. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I actually posted that on Facebook, I mean, on YouTube and Facebook, um, the commercials, and then I did my little thing. But I'd rather clean up shit then spray Roundup. Yeah. But see, why is it, why is it that when I call the city about it, I'm the only one that's called out of every single environmentalist or this, look at this thing. Oh, I saw one Hold person on, chasing thing. Look at that. a spray person, but it was probably you. That's pretty cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to get the action of the thing. Oh, oh he's going to dump it on me. Don't get me. Like I'm right next to the handle. It's the little things that thrill me in the world. Oh God, what a fucking day. The day just yeah. They sprayed um our entire like main road, not in my neighborhood, but the main road off of my neighborhood the other day and the whole oh my god the whole like area smelled like chemicals wait were they sprayed for what like some type of fertilizer okay you know that you know when they spray that green stuff all over the grass yeah that's roundup it, oh okay well yeah they sprayed that shit all down the main road and i mean for like days that's all i could smell that's awful. disgusting yeah you can taste it you yeah. know oh yeah and like the mosquito trucks the, per uh, the permethrin, like, you can definitely smell that forever. You know, me and, me and, you saw the, I showed you the mosquito video. No, yeah, well, I've actually exercised uh, behind one of those by accident one night, and then, like, two days later, I could still smell the smell coming out of my pores. Oh, yeah. that's gross. <laughs> but I said earlier, I said, I've only seen one person chase after the um, spray guy in my neighborhood. Hey, say hi to my friend Peter real And quick. it was probably you. <laughs> Oh, look, then we turn here. Oh, more chemtrails. Now look. Now now it looks like it's clear. But then you look over here and you can see what they're doing. But see, if you go this way, it looks clear. This is what the sky is supposed to look like. And it's obvious that they're intentionally targeting areas of the sky to spray. 
Yeah, because probably because it's where all the government workers are with the high with the pensions and they got to get rid of those people. <laughs> like spraying over the neighborhoods where it's like everyone, you know, is getting a big check when they, when they croak or, you know, I mean, before they croak, sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah. They want us dead, man. So what do you think? Is there anything else that you want to tell everybody? Anything you've uncovered with other conspiracies? Um, no, but, uh, I would like to say that it's awesome that we got to go see Dick Gregory together and you turned me on to his um, stuff. And I've been reading this book um, that he wrote before he died in 2017. And I'm going to let you borrow it. And it's like a book of essays of like, he kind of rewrites history as it was really happening because he was there. And um, it's really good. It's got a lot of good stuff in there. And they do touch on some environmental stuff in there too. Yeah. And, um, yeah, but yeah, you turn me on to Dick Gregory, <laughs> and that's like the coolest thing you could have ever done because he's a smart man, very smart man. Yes, and I want and you I'm... to tell everybody when we went to go see oh. his when we went to go see his show, what did he do to me? Um, well, one of the first things that he said was, and I mean literally, one of the first things he said when he walked out on stage, he looked at us, and we were the only two white people in there, and he said, "I only trust about a hundred." white people in this world and two of them are sitting right here yeah oh my god my body filled up with like heat and love i was like yeah. this is crazy but he totally put me in his act i was the butt yes. end. i was the butt end of all of his jokes he was asking me what do you do for a living and and all this and making making jokes about activism and and doing little it, it wasn't he wasn't he was joking. very humble he was very he humble. was awesome he was awesome the way he did it and he said that he wrote a book a best-selling book called, oh. called hold on hold on i'm gonna say he wrote a best-selling book called in dot 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 you know what the word is and he he kept saying it and everything like that and he's like he's like coming out now what and he points to me and he goes now what was the name of that book that i wrote and i was like uh-uh uh-uh oh. i didn't say it he's like come on it's just it's my best-selling book what's it called and I'm like, no way in like, hell no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was he was totally awesome, and we saw him right before he died. I know it's crazy. God, we were so lucky, mm -hmm. so fucking lucky. Yep. So I'm gonna let you borrow this book as soon as I'm done with it. It's just I keep rereading some of the essays in there because they're so interesting. I like the way it's broke down into like different essays on different um kind of like different conspiracies, you know? Yeah. Oh so. God, the sky is fucking horrible in this direction. I want to go back the other direction. <laughs> oh, daddy. It's fucking wretched. Oh. Yeah, it is kind of all building in one area, but where I'm, I've got a tic-tac-toe board and, uh, right in front of me Uh huh. right now. And then over to the left, it's, I've got a triangle. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we shouldn't have any of this garbage. Well, I'm getting ready.